Kongsberg Maritime has signed its first contract for a state-of-the-art remotely operated vehicles launch and recovery system, specifically designed to handle remotely operated vehicles from unmanned vessels. The contract has been signed with Ocean Infinity, who will install the system on their armada fleet of cutting-edge robotic ships. Kongsberg's launch and recovery system is an essential component in a system designed to ensure that no people are required at sea while carrying out subsea operations. This innovation enables the deployment of remotely operated vehicles and autonomous underwater vehicles by teams based on shore. The system uses a pure electric drive system, making it more environmentally sustainable and significantly reducing the need for maintenance. Launch and recovery will happen through the moon pool, with the release and capture of the rover occurring beneath the sea surface. This eliminates the possibility of damage to the rover from impact with the vessel hull. Another benefit is that launching and recovery can be carried out in higher sea states. Launching and recovering is underwater, away from the splash zone, lessens the possibility of their being damaged, while midships deployment averts any likelihood of us being run over by the launch vessel. The new launch and recovery system subsea capabilities provide an extra benefit in that launch and recovery processes can be carried out in much higher sea states. This reduces the risk of weather damage to marine robots, while boosting productivity to deliver significant cost savings. There are also tangible crew benefits. Operating the new LARS from midships will free up valuable aft deck space, and safety will be considerably enhanced as no personnel will be required to work over the stern in potentially challenging conditions. The design allows us to be deployed from a hangar or container and multiple robots may be managed from a single LARS. It is flexible with regards to placement, although midships is optimal, and can be operated from anywhere on board, including the stern. It may also be installed higher than on the main deck, to accommodate the vessel layout.